Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the H1 video and another edition of Oh Crap or Oh Snap, where today we're checking out the key case by Ridge. Let's check it out. Okay, like I said, welcome back to another H1 video and yes, Oh Crap or Oh Snap edition. And I have the key case by Ridge. And I'm making this an Oh Snap or Oh Crap because it was advertised to me on Instagram. I clicked the link, I got to Amazon, and this thing was really expensive. How expensive? $75 for a key case. Yeah, I don't know. This better be the best key case since sliced bread for $75. 75, that's insane. So is this gonna be a no snap or oh crap? I already have a feeling where this is gonna be leaning to, but nevertheless, we will check this out. So let's get into the unboxing. All right, so as you can see, little plastic case here, it does say the Ridge, the key case. Let's go ahead and open this up. So if you're not familiar, Ridge is the company that makes wallets. So they make a lot of wallets, metal wallets, kind of nice looking. Um, they're premium-ish in price because uh, they're all metal construction, really popular. A lot of influencers kind of, you know, hawk those case uh, wallets. But this is the first time I've ever seen a key product from them. And God, for 75 bucks, this better be phenomenal. All right, we got the plastic off again, as you can see. It does say Ridge, the key case, and I got the forged ember color. So forged ember. I'll show you what this looks like in a bit. Uh, it says carry less, live more here at the bottom. And then here at the, or on the side, excuse me, and on the bottom, you'll see slim, silent, secure. The Ridge key case is designed silent and secure way to organize your keys. So you can secure two to six keys, patent detention system, premium metal plates, and a lifetime warranty. Yes, because your key case needs a lifetime warranty. So this is supposed to keep your keys from doing this, which is what my keys look like. And honestly, I hate this. I hate the jangle jing. I hate the jingle jangle, everything like that. But anyway, let's get into the key case. Okay. The box feels nice. So far, premium unboxing experience. Key case. Or ridge, I should say. All right. So it looks like there's an instruction manual right on top. Not the best look. Got a little quick start guide, tells you how to open, how to insert keys. We'll look at this real quick. So it says the opening, inserting, securing. Tells you do not over tighten. And there's even a QR code in case you need help. Pretty nice, but here is what we're here for, right? Here is the Ridge key case, $75 in forged amber. Now it does look pretty sick. I mean, you this looks pretty cool. And then this is the tool that you will be using to secure your keys to it. And it even gives you two, count them, two different keyholes, key ring things. Here's one that's a little bit larger. And then there's a second one that's a little bit smaller. And that's everything in the box. Okay, so it does have a metal little belt clip here, which looks nice. Got the Ridge branding here on the side. More Ridge branding here. So definitely got a lot of Ridge branding. There's this little loopy here, and this little loopy is gonna be for your key fobs, for you know your cars and stuff like that, or anything else you wanna attach. And then the keys just kinda go in here, and they come out kind of Swiss Army knife style. So I've got all my keys here, jingle jangle. Let's get the keys installed, check out the install process, and see how much better the ridge, the key thing, what's, what's it called? I forget the names. The key case by Ridge is. So let's uh, start doing that. All right, so I do have my six keys that are gonna go in there. So let's get my house key. We're gonna get uh, the key I have for my room and then the keys to my parents' house because that's pretty much all the keys I need, just four. Now, I will say one thing I liked about the this like Night Eyes key case I had was it's got a bottle opener loop. So I was like, I gotta have my bottle opener. So I did pick up this little bottle opener on Amazon as well. Again, the links to everything here is gonna be in the description in case you wanna check it out. So feel free to use my affiliate links down below and you know, feel free to buy it. So I did get this. This is the Orbit one. So Orbit makes their own key organizer, significantly cheaper by the way, but I wanna try out the $75 Ridge one. But it will be nice to have a little ball opener. This does feel super, super high quality. This is a thick metal. So you're not gonna be bending this when you're trying to you know, open your bottles. So I'll put that kind of more towards the end. All right, so I've got my keys kind of stacked how I think I want them in there. Now I've got my little ridge key here. So we're gonna unscrew this. And it's mostly like tension. So this is gonna be interesting to see how I get this to work. Okay, there it is. So you kind of just pull it apart like this, you take it apart and yeah, we just kind of fit the keys in here now. 
And you kind of got to get all the keys aligned so that you can fit this thing on top now. I and mean, you can't even see what I'm doing, but I am struggling. There it is. Okay. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. So now we're just going to tighten this bad boy. And the tighter you want it, the harder it's going to be to get the keys in and out. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. So, you know, remember not to over tighten it, but if it, the keys are coming out a little too easily, too loose, then you know you got to tighten it up or, you know, adjust however you need to. Now, you don't want to over tighten because you don't want to strip the screw. You strip this screw, you're in trouble. Good luck finding a replacement at Home Depot or whatever. Mm. They're still, see, they're a little loose, a little wobbly. So probably make it a little bit tighter. Mm, all right, that's about as tight as it gets. It's not letting me tighten it anymore, so I'm going to stop. I'm feeling the tension. Can you feel the tension? All right, here it is. Pretty much all the keys I had on my key ring. Now, obviously not everything is going to fit, right? So I've got my gym pass here that's not going to fit in this. I have a little mask from Matador that comes in this little thing. Obviously not going to fit on this. Um, my Apple AirTag, or my Apple, yeah, AirTag. Not going to fit on here, obviously. And my key fob. I even got this cool little Leatherman. These things aren't going to fit on there, but I don't need them every day. They're mostly just on here for show. The only thing I'm gonna really attach to this is gonna be my key fob and my Apple AirTag. So let's get that stuff attached real quick. I have these cool little, like, I guess they're just like carabiners that are like lockable like this. So we're just gonna attach it just like this. And then I'm gonna put the Apple AirTag on the same carabiner. Oh, and my gym membership. <sighs> All right, here we are. This is my EDC. This is what I need to carry when I go anywhere gonna have all my keys on here that I carry with me on a daily basis with my new bottle opener, my Apple AirTag, clutch, my membership to Gold's Gym. Believe it or not, I work out. And my key fob, all in this neat little package. So I can attach this to my belt clip, how I usually do, put this in my back pocket or do whatever I gotta do. And it's gonna limit a lot of the jangle you heard earlier. I mean, this was, I mean, just even with this, it's annoying. I had to shove it in my back pocket and then when you're sitting on a bunch of keys, it just makes it uncomfortable. And then check it out. I want to get my keys. You just kind of switchblade it real quick. Watch out. Get the key you need. Put the rest away. Lock, unlock your door. Put your key back. Pretty clutch. Want to get a little bottle opener. I got my bottle opener right here too. So I can open the bottles whoosh, pretty securely. And that sound effect was needed. This, this, this is the ridge, the key master, the keyster, the keyster. Not the keyster. The key case. I don't know why I forget the name of this. This is the key case by Ridge. All right, so real quick, how would I wear this? Let me show you. Got my little belt loop right here. Just loop it in like this, because it's got that built-in belt loop. And then, you know, that's how I'm gonna wear it. Does it look weird? I mean, I still gotta put this in here. I guess I could leave it like that. But I do like just kind of having my stuff back there. And then, oh, I'm home. Gotta give them the keys. I don't know. Let me know that. Does that look good? Is that something you want to do? I don't, it's, it's, it uh, has a small footprint. The footprint is smaller than what a lot of the other brands on Amazon offer. So if you want something that has this small of a footprint, this is what you need, right? The key case by Ridge. Keysmart has an option that is about as thin. It is a bit longer, but that's because you can switch blade the keys on both sides. So as opposed to just having them all on one side, you can have keys on two sides and it has a kind of a pressure system, but it's also like 20, 30 bucks. This was $75. I mean, does it look cool? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's, it's got this sick red flake, black. I mean, it looks pretty industrial. Is it $75 cool? No. Absolutely not. You're insane if you spend $75 on this. I bought this to keep y'all from buying this. But if you do want to buy it, please use my affiliate link down below. But anyways, guys, yeah, this is this is definitely going to be an oh crap product. Uh, the product is, is good. It does what it does. It's high quality materials, but for the money, it is not worth it. $75 is a lot of money to spend on a little key holder. Again, is this cool looking? Yes, it does look cool. It feels nice. It's got like, the, look at the metal on the sides. It is super thick metal on there. Ooh, focus is having some issues. But the, it's, it's very, it feels very rigid. Like this isn't, this isn't going anywhere. This is super solid. It's really nice. But again, not worth the $75 price tag. I'm sorry. It's just, it's just way too much money. For 40 bucks, solid. 
I would recommend this even at 50 bucks. At 50 bucks, mm, 40. 40, 40 bucks, $45. <laughs> For $45, I would highly recommend it because it's nice. It's high, it's high build quality. You know, Ridge makes solid products. It, um, you know, this is a $75 kit because you better believe I'm going to be using this every single day if I don't return it to Amazon for it being too pricey. But I'll probably keep it. Again, it's a review. I'll write it off from the tax man. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you like this, something like this, you know, check it out. If you don't, don't. Uh, again, I think $75 is a pretty steep price for anyone to pay for anything like this on principle alone. And that's it. Oh crap product simply because of the price. Not because of the functionality, not because of the build qualities, but because of the price. But all right guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Yes, this concludes another Oh Snapper Oh Crap edition. If you have any products that you want me to check out a review, leave a comment down below. I check out products that just get like shown to me on Amazon. So if you have something that you think is better, I'll check it out. I don't care. I got time. <laughs> but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and leave a like and you'd love to go ahead and subscribe. Until next time. I better get some use out of this. Bye.